We're here at World Dairy Expo with Dan Main from Landmark Services. And Dan, thanks for joining us. How's Expo been going for you so far? It's awesome. It's a great day out there, and it's pretty nice in here as well. Yeah. It's a good day to go fly a drone, huh? It is a good day to fly a drone. It'd be a perfect day. The wind conditions are down. Well, tell us about what Landmark is doing with the drone technology. Yeah, we, we're testing some drone technology that really gives us the ability to, to do some scouting uh, for customers in in the field and uh, we started out this process this spring with some summer interns who were, were college kids and they really thought the technology uh, had some value and they were teaching us on how to use it actually mm -hmm. and so how do you use it? well the drone tech this drone technology is really uh it's, it's not a true drone it's more of a uh, a quadcopter that we fly we call it drone technology because we can take aerial views videos and pictures of a field so w what we're using it for is an advanced scouting tool uh, that allows us to uh, to take a look at a field before we walk into it because we're out there diagnosing problems and it's really nice to be able to see those problems uh, from the air before we have to walk into a certain part of the field. What size are we talking here? Well, I think uh, the drone's pretty small. I mean, uh, the drone is uh, is really nothing more than a small, uh, it's probably a foot and a half diameter and uh, and it's really easy to navigate and fly. Uh, we uh, the technology is starting to get a little bit better to be able to do that and I mentioned the wind today because when we get in the wind conditions it can be a little tougher um, but but the bottom line is uh, the neat thing is if you've ever been uh, above a cornfield in a balloon or an airplane you notice different things and uh, a drone can take us anywhere from 10 feet above the crop to 200 feet above the crop and we can look down into that field and and do some advanced diagnostics and uh, and then we're able to uh, share that with customers. And it's purely visual, or are there other things you collect from this? Um, currently, it's pu purely visual. I think there's some technology coming down the road that might th advance that, but purely visual. And uh, when you're walking a as a scout or an intern scout, when you're walking a 200-acre field, um, it's a big field, and you got to spend a lot of time doing that. What this allows us to do is maybe save a few hours or a few minutes every day in that we can go and scout the whole thing visually first, and then walk into those parts of the field that just look different, whether they're better color, not as good, uh, maybe some symptomology on leafing or, or just something that doesn't look right. We're not able to walk to that spot and diagnose what's going on and not have to necessarily walk the whole field to find that spot. Now, in the way technology is with the high definition, uh, you can really see. Now, are these pictures or is it video? We can do both, but I can tell you that uh, when you're 20 feet above a crop, the video technology is amazing. It really is. You can see... Uh, if you if you stop the drone and zoom into a leaf, you can you could potentially, if you knew what you were looking for, you could pick a bug up on that leaf. Now we haven't uh, quite got that done, but w it has the capability of doing that type of thing. What about uh, cost? Is this affordable? Well, currently it's. Uh, I think uh, with any technology, as they advance it, uh, they're going to continue to add features. Currently, it's a. Uh, it, it, it is affordable. Currently, I think uh, what we do with it in the future, I, I hope it continues to be affordable, Bill, but. I'm, I think it will be, um, mostly because we're more efficient with the employees that we have. Um, they're out there to scout a field. The grower wants to know what his field looks like, and this gives us the ability to do a better job. And whenever we can help service our customers better, quicker, uh, more efficiently, it's a good day. It's becoming more popular, you know, hearing more about this, not just in agriculture, but these, these drones. Is this something brand new to agriculture? Are, are a lot of farms doing this right now? Um, I think it's pretty new. Um, I, we, I, as far as I know, we were the only ones that were testing this type of technology into our marketplace. But I can tell you that uh, I could see endless opportunities for this technology. I, I think uh, uh, we, we're, we're able to share this information really quickly with our customers. And so instead of just driving by the edge of the field, the customer now has a video of his field. And, uh, and he can get, see that video as many times as we fly that drone into that field. So. Uh, it, I think it's got some real opportunities. We'll have to take a look at it. Is there a particular name that you call this drone? Yeah, so it's under our Yield Edge brand, and we just, we're just so currently calling it our Yield Edge Copter, but uh, we'll probably develop that as we move forward. Sure, yeah, something new. You also have some new software out there. What's the latest on that? Yeah, so it ties, it ties into this type of technology. So one of the things that we're working on is, uh, is some software that allows us to share what we know about a field or a customer instantaneous with our customers so in the past we kept that data we helped them manage that data customers tell us every day that the biggest challenge they have is how do I manage all this information 
And I think we all struggle with that sometimes. How do you manage all the stuff that's coming at you? So what we've now done is we've got a, a, a viewer, a yield edge is our brand yield edge viewer that allows us to share, for example, the drone picture instantly with customers as soon as we load it up. And not necessarily in an email format, but in a viewer format where you can go in and see everything about that field historically as well as currently. And it becomes a real transparent conversation then with a the customer. We can come up and say, hey, did you see that corner of that field? It's got a little yellow spot. And he's like, oh, yeah, I was just looking at the viewer, and I saw it over here. So we're introducing that technology as we speak. Um, and we have, in many fields, we have years of history. And uh, a lot of that history gets wasted if you don't have a chance to review it from time to time. So this viewer really becomes a, hey, I got what you got. We're looking at the same thing, and we're not necessarily having to... Uh, take it to them and show it to them and say, here, you know, by the old paper method, we could be on the phone having a conversation and say, hey, you see this corner of this field? Looks like it's a little bit lower yielding. What's going on? And we can look at historical data. That's pretty neat stuff. So if somebody wanted to find out more information about this, where can they go? Well, they can come to our website, actually, landmark.coop. Um, and uh, so it's on there. And we, we are uh, really, we are working with our local producers to provide, through my agronomist, provide this technology for them. And... Uh, and we're, we're pretty excited about it because uh, I can tell you that um, customers really, we, we want to help them manage that data. We want to help them get better at making decisions on their farm. And, and, uh, and the better we can do that, I think the better we're going to be rewarded as well. Absolutely. Dan Main from Landmark Services Cooperative, thanks for joining us here at World Dairy Expo. Thanks, Bill.